Okay, I have some data that I'm going to analyze using Clogger Pro. So you can type or copy your data into the XY. And for X here, I'm going to have radius. So I should actually double click on the X. Let me do that again. Double click on X and to change the name radius. Okay. And short name should use the same thing. And then for units, millimeters. And we're done. Double click on Y. This is going to be mass. Short name. Mass again. Units are grams. And we're finished with that. So notice that what Logger Pro does is it plots these two. Mass on the y-axis, radius on the x-axis, which is what you want. But we need ln plots. So what we're going to do is make some calculated columns. So insert, actually it's data, new calculated column. The name is going to be L end of radius. Short name the same. You can put in parentheses if you like. There's no units here. And we're going to insert an equation. So I click here on the equation bar and then on functions and I want the natural log function ln. It wants to know inside the parentheses what the, what the variable is. So I'll click on the variable tab and I'm going to choose radius here. We're done. All right, so we also need to have a calculated column for ln of mass. So data, new calculated column, ln mass, short name the same, ln functions don't have any units, click on the equation bar, again the function is ln, the variable this time is mass, so I'll click down arrow, choose mass, oops, oops, did it twice, did I? And there we are. Okay, so then we're going to change the y-axis here. Click here, ln of mass, dependent variable, radius, becomes ln of radius, and there's our plot there. Okay, so next we need to do linear regression, so we need to select the data. So I'm going to start here as close to the y-axis as possible, and I'm going to just drag my cursor across to select all the data points and then up here on the very top there's a little button here you can do curve fix what we really want is the second one here linear fit so I'll click here and then to make that a little bit larger I'll do options here and I'll change maybe to 18 on the font there change decimal places add a lot more Okay, and okay, there it is. And you can actually drag it out of the way. So the black line is the least squares curve, and the blue line is the raw data. So we're given a slope, a y-intercept, and a correlation coefficient. And you're going to record all three of these on your data report sheet. Now, don't forget to save this, because you're actually going to need to make a copy of this graph and send us a copy of it along with your lab report. You're going to need two graphs actually, ln of mass and ln of radius. And let's see, there's one thing I haven't done here, and that is make a title. So graph options here, title, ln mass versus ln radius okay 
and that should be fine there. And this has pretty much all the components. So you could take a photo of this and convert it to PDF and send it. You could take a picture and embed it in a Word file and then convert that to PDF or just send the Word file. But you need to include a copy of this. So don't forget to save it. File, save as ln mass verse ln radius. Okay. We don't want the file, we just want the graph. And you're, you're also going to, to need to make a second graph of ln of mass versus ln of length, where the length is in millimeters. Okay, so since I've saved that, we're all done here.